Welcome people, I'm Double Six. Today I'm going to talk to you about the gender pay cap, so stay tuned and watch this. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. If women work 27 hours on average and men work 80 hours on average, there's going to be a huge pay gap. Just like this infographic here says there is a gender pay gap. There needs to be tumbleweed B-roll right here because they got no answers. I've got two women that work for me and I pay them more money than the men who work for me. That's what men are concerned with, productivity. Oh, that's why that man's got an egghead because he drills down into the layers. I'll tell you, is there a gender pay Gap. Yes, there is. Negotiate, make more P. We don't care, but you ain't doing it, are you? Why are we wasting time? Why? All right. On another issue, what is the gender workplace hours gap? The agency reports a workplace gender pay gap comparing male full-time employees and female full-time employees. But male full-time employees work longer hours on average than female full-time employees. And the agency doesn't account for this when reporting a workplace gender pay gap. Using ABS data on employee earnings and hours, the gender pay gap as at May 2016 was 15.7%. It is a survey. It is a survey of employees. That information from the ABS. It's not a census. Um, and this video is by the Australian Senate, and it's a committee on gender equality and the pay gap. And the chairman is from the Australian Liberal Democrats. We're going to start to get into facts and figures about the Australian gender pay gap. Australia is a first world country, so it's reflective of Europe, Britain, United States, just the same, yeah? It's only conducted every two years. They only collect the data every two years. Um, what we do do is we annualise our figure to full time. So we look at all part time employees and full time employees that may have worked part of a 12 month period and we, uh, and we annualise that data to take into account part time hours. Um, so therefore, we're converting the part time hours to full time, if you like. So do so do you take into account the fact that on average a male full-time employee works longer hours than a female full-time employee? N not directly, no. You don't? Hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Do you hear the soft question that the man just asked? So she gives the background, she gets a two-year survey, they annualise the data, they compound the data, they spreadsheet the data, they pivot table Excel the hell out of it. So she's given all of the background to say, yeah, we analyse, we dig into the weeds. And the man just clearly says like, do you get data on how many hours work? Because men might just work more hours than women. That's maybe why they earn more more money. We annualise the part-time hours and those that have worked full-time but for part of the year. So that way, because at the moment, uh, w what I can tell you is w women work part-time at three times the rate of men. Mm. So by annualising it, we are looking at a, a more... But that's not the question he asked. He asked, do you have data on the number of hours men work and the number of hours women work? And her answer was, well, we buy annualised data that women work part time three times more than men. That's got nothing to do with the number of hours men work versus the number of hours women work. If women work 27 hours on average and men work 80 hours on average, there's going to be a huge pay gap and What's that got to do with inequality in society? Because I think that's the thread that these kind of committees are trying to establish. Realistic. So you base it on annual salary. Yeah. What about if you did it on an hourly rate? What would be the gender hourly pay gap? Well, we don't have that data, Senator. You don't have that data? No, because we are if you don't have that data, then don't turn up to the committee. Because if I'm working for 10 pounds an hour, flipping burgers at Burger King, and a woman is flipping burgers at Burger King and earning eight pounds an hour, then there's a gender pay gap. Just like this infographic here says, 
So if Tom is flipping burgers at Burger King for £10 an hour and Sally is flipping burgers at Burger King for £8 an hour, there is a gender pay gap. But if Tom is getting £10 an hour and Sally's getting £10 an hour, but Tom is working 50 hours a week and Sally's working 30 hours a week, then you're going to get a pay gap between men and women. But how much of that is inequality in the workplace? I'd like to see if they can answer this question. Salaries because and from our employers when they report their data in. Okay, so if, uh, if a woman was working fewer hours but earning the same... Uh, rate per hour as a man doing the same job, would that show up as a gender pay gap? No. What, why are we wasting time? Why? Well then in that case you are looking at uh, hourly, at, at hourly rates. Um, Jenny Imbrudov, Research and Analytics Executive Manager. So, um, we do not we do not collect the real hours that an employee might have worked. So, what we do collect is the hours. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, yeah, you've got to look at this. Like, one woman playing on her phone. When the questions get tough, woman who come there with all the hype in the beginning in the flowery dress, she's now passed it on to her colleague on the left. That's what happens, yeah? Ish rolls downhill, yeah? So, when the questions get sticky and you can't find an answer, you pass it to your second. Your second can't answer, you pass it to the third. Meanwhile, the big Shirley on the shoulder to the left, she's just there like texting her man trying to work out, you know, what's going on uh, later on tonight. Like the whole board has lost the fight by the man just asking one or two little straight questions, what goes straight to the point. Contract and that is provided by organizations to us. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, uh, if you, you do you annualise it on the assumption that men and women are working the same number of hours, or is it ac actual earnings? It's actual earnings, and we are unable to, it, we don't have the data to. So, lead woman has passed it down to the second woman. The second woman still gives the same answer as the lead woman. We don't know the differences between the hours worked between men or women. We only work off of annualized salary. What they should say is, Chairman, we don't have that data, but we're gonna close this committee down, go and dig into the weeds, pivot table, Excel, spreadsheet the hell out of the data, come back to you with hours worked, and then we can decide whether there's actually a gender pay gap. But that's what they should say. But in a committee, of women leading the, the charge against the gender pay gap, they just don't want to give a straight answer. Or to, to then unadjust for, or adjust for hours because mm. we, are, can, we, are not, we cannot collect the real hours that employees are worked, so, working. So it's not possible. Why can't you collect the real hours that employees work? Employees got timesheets. You know, they got overtime, they paid overtime, they got toil, they clock in, they clock out. All employees can report how much overtime that people are doing. Even if they don't report hours, they can report salary and then overtime. And then women can have salary and then overtime. And then you can see if men are earning more money because they've got more overtime, then that will at least fluctuate and tell you the kind of what's going on at hourly rate in terms of hours worked on the job. Tell whether any or some of the gender pay gap is just simply attributable to a different number of hours worked. Is that right? It depends on whether um, we are looking at hours that are in contract or whether um, whether we are looking at hours that employees worked as you know over time. What, why is it you don't look at hours worked? You don't collect it, but the ABS does. It's available. The ABS does, yeah. uh, does a survey, yes. Every two years, yes. And that's, and, but, it, it, but again, as I say, we collect census data, that is survey data. And the other thing I would say... So collect the survey data then. Stage senator is just because somebody might be sitting at their desk for 12 hours a day doesn't mean you're getting 12 hours of productivity out of them and doesn't mean that uh, they're working in essence any harder than someone, may, that, as someone that may sit at their desk for eight hours. So but, I don't think... That's
so hold on a minute so you're saying that if a man works 12 hours a day doesn't mean he's as productive as a woman who works eight hours a day but just looking at the staff beside you left and right one woman is just constantly on her phone messaging so she's not very productive she's not taking notes she's not paying attention to what's going on in the room another woman to your right she just gives the same answers as you you devolve the difficult questions to her you might as well have answered them yourself so just as a quick demonstration of productivity on that panel right there you ain't getting much productivity out of it but they're getting paid for the 12 whether they're doing any work or they or they're getting paid for however many hours they're sitting at their desk but and the issue for your agency is that uh, a, if it's a male sitting at a desk they're getting paid more than a female sitting at a desk so the the question is whether that irrespective of the hours uh, the question is whether for, the, for those hours for which they're getting paid, is there a difference between men and women? So... It, it there needs to be tumbleweed B-roll right here because they got no answers. We don't collect information on our Senator. ABS does, so it's available. So if we put in a question on notice, will you access the ABS data and, and so you can answer that question? Well, I, I did answer it earlier. I said that the ABS employee and earnings and, and hours data, uh, as at May 2016, the gender pay gap was 15.7 per cent. So that means that men work 15.7 per cent more hours than women. That's what you're saying if you've got the hourly data then. If I understood you correctly, that's referring to annualised salary, is that right? <coughs> Not what, what's the right, gap based on? Per hourly rates or, or annual incomes or annualised incomes or what are we talking about here? Yo, that's why that man's got an egghead because he drills down into the layers. Okay, the, um, the EEH data, so that's the uh, employee earnings and hours data includes all employees regardless of employment status and reflects ordinary time cash earnings. The EEH survey produces hourly earnings for non-managers and... Yes, that's just for ordinary hours worked, which is just your salary. It doesn't include overtime. If you don't have the data on hourly, then you must have the data on overtime. That's what the man's saying. And you've still got hourly data based on contractual hours. So it does not show if men are working overtime, which is why they may be getting more money than women. Hence the reason for the gender pay gap. ...used to produce a gender pay gap measure inclusive or exclusive of part-time employees. The EEH data can also be configured in a variety of other ways that are useful to the gender pay gap estimates, e.g. managerial versus <laughs> non-managerial employees. Um, the big drawback from where we sit is that EEH data was identified as being... It, it's, it's just done on a two-year cycle. I don't think I can think of many men who would find it acceptable that a woman, irrespective of how many hours she's working in the day, if she's doing the same amount of work as a man, uh, or the same job as a man, I'm sorry, um, was paid any less on the basis that she's a woman. I, I can't think of any men who would, uh, who would support that. And yet, because you're not looking at hours, we don't know whether that's occurring or not. Am I right there? Listen, yeah, I've got two women that work for me that I can think of that do a very similar job to men in the workplace. And I pay them more money on an hourly than the men who work for me. So am I discriminating against men now? I just think that the woman is better than the job than the man. So for me, they do the similar role, but I get more productivity and more performance out of the woman for the same role. So I pay her more. That's what men are concerned with, productivity. That's all we're concerned about. So I'm paying this woman more to women. That's just the reality about the workplace. Senator, I think um, at this stage, as I've said to you, we, we are unable to uh, collect and analyse that data. There are other countries, of course, that do do that. Um, and we will... Not even every... 
Okay, so I'll pull this video. This woman, she don't have the data. She don't have the correct information. She's gonna have to run away to fight another day. The bottom line is this, that men are into things and women are into people. So women deal with people, children, schools. Most of the schools, all the teachers are women, yeah? Administrative work is a lot of women. A lot of dangerous work that can command a premium pay is mostly carried out by men. If women wanna go six months a year and work on a ship, I'm into shipping. And when I see what them man go through on seafaring, that's a different kind of human being to work on the seven seas. When I see that them man who work on oil rigs, when they show you their hands, none of them lost a finger, none of them have got like nine fingers, eight fingers, losing a finger out on them oil rigs. Those jobs command more money. I'll tell you, is there a gender pay gap? Yes, there is. Is it justified? Yes, it is. It's justified. Simple as that. Can everybody just move on? There's a gender pay gap because women don't want to do dangerous jobs that command more money. Uh, they don't want to go into STEM fields. Uh, they want to do easy work. They're into people. You can't really employ the power of economies of scale when you're working with people, but you can employ the power of economies of scale when you're working with things. When you're selling laptops, selling computers, inventing stuff, inventing patterns. When Dyson's in the back of his shed for 20 years inventing that vacuum hoover that don't have a bag, then he can sell it and mass produce it all over the world. So men are just into things and things can replicate and sell and exploit economies of scale and make big P. Yes, there's a gender pay gap and is it substantiated? Yes. Is there reason? for it yes and is it okay I think so you know if women want to become builders seafarers oil riggers they line up application you got equality now you can apply for all them jobs go for it negotiate make more P we don't care bring home more P to the family we don't care take some of the stress off of us we don't care but you ain't doing it are you so just settle yourself till the next one I'm double six and I'm out